Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a super fun video because this is just a chill, crafty making vlog. In this video I will be doing a lot of knitting and a lot of sewing. So if that's your thing then just keep watching for a fun vlog and enjoy! Okay, so I finished making this little Kindle pouch. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I would say it's a little bit too big for my Kindle, but still it turned out fine. The only thing that I have left to do that I'm a little bit scared of and that I've been procrastinating since I finished this is that I have to cut the threads on this and then burn them so that this doesn't fray as much from the little bow. But I don't like playing with fire, so I don't know if that's ever going to happen because right now I'm not looking forward to doing that. Then there's also a sewing pattern that I would love to make. It's a Skyline dress by Sid Graham. I really love the patchwork version that she made, so I would love to make one as well. And I'm excited to see where that will go. Then I also just received a yarn haul for an upcoming design. Even though I currently don't have time to cast it on, sadly, I'm not sure if I will in this video, probably not not. But I will show you just briefly what I got. I'm going to design a colorwork sweater. So that's going to be my first time ever designing something with colorwork, I think. And I will be using Drops Lima just because I think it's such a nice and basic versatile yarn. And to me, it doesn't peel a lot. So I really like it. So that's going to be the main color. And then I just got five colors for accent colors. I'm not sure if I'm going to use all five of them, but by the time that this sweater is going to be released, or maybe it's going to be a cardigan, I actually have not decided that either. But by the time this color work project is going to be released, it will be December. So that's why I also got some red, just because I'm already feeling festive, even though it's August. I know, it's too early. But also, is it? So yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm probably going to do mostly a lot of sewing in this video, because I still have that secret design going on. Yeah! Welcome to another little segment of this making vlog. I just wanted to catch up with you and show you two finished objects that I've already made in this video. And the first one is the Kahaya Bandana by The Harry Knit that I showed that I wanted to knit in my knitting patterns to end summer with. And I did, and it's really cute. I knit this just with some cotton yarn held double from a local craft store. It's really like nothing special. I think it's a cotton eight. And I think a lot of the brands have that. Also Drop Saffron, for example, is an alternative to that one. And I just think it's a very cute accessory, even though I have not worn it yet. I definitely will in the end of summer right now. And then something that you can wear with it is my new 
patchwork dress, the Skyline dress by Sid Graham. It's such a good pattern, like the instructions were really easy to follow and I just had a lot of fun with all of the fabrics. Like this is just too much fun to have with a dress, to be able to get rid of a lot of scrap yarn uh, or not yarn, like fabric. It's just a joy to wear and to make, so I've already worn this one quite a bit since finishing it. And there are too many fabrics in here to really show you all of them, but most of them are cotton. And then I also used a linen, which is this pink one. And then I went for a little hack in the back where, because it's a patchwork dress, you have a seam here. So that enabled me to leave an opening here where I could put the drawstring bias tape through. So I can tie it here with a little bow. So it is adjustable, which is really nice. And you know, just with the little headscarf, like, that's just too cute. You have to admit, that's too cute. <laughs> then what's next is I'm going to go away to family for a few days and I think I'm gonna do a lot of knitting and reading, probably start a new design, even though right now I don't really know what that's going to be. I think it's going to be some type of Fiona fest, the Fiona flower fest, but we'll have to see and I will definitely keep you updated. And yeah, let's just continue with this making vlog. <laughs> Welcome to the final little portion of this video. As you may have seen, I was knitting on the new design that I talked about, wanting to knit, and I've managed to finish that. So by the time that this video comes online, there will actually be also a test knit call for it. It comes in 10 sizes, ranging from an extra extra small to a 5XL, and it's knitted on 5mm needles. With actually two DK weight yarns held together, which is kind of strange. I would say they are more maybe a light DK weight to create still an iron weight, just because my gauge still I would say is like an iron weight. So yeah, it is quite a heavy garment, but you can use any type of yarn I think that you want as long as you get the right gauge, which is probably my most asked question when I do test knits is often people don't really understand that you don't have to use the yarn that I use, you can just use anything. So this is the vest in question and it's not called the Fiona Flower Vest anymore. It has had a name change. It's currently called the Babette Bubble Vest and it also feels right for some reason for this design because I think it's very vintage inspired. So just the name Babette, I think is very vintage and very sweet. So this is the little thing that I'm talking about. It's very cute. I really love how it turned out. As you can see, there are a lot of bubbles. Yeah, a lot of bubbles going on, but also with some lace in a diamond motif. Then I went for these beautiful scalloped crochet edges, but I've also added instructions on how to do it with knitted eye cords because I know not everybody is wanting to learn how to crochet or maybe doesn't want to do it like out of an aesthetic point of view. Completely fine, anything goes. Do keep in mind that with knitted eye cords, it doesn't really have any closure options. So you would have to add buttonholes yourself or do something else because right now I use the crochet edge to basically attach or close these little buttons that I've sewn on. And then this is how the back looks. This vest has positive ease. On my size, it's a little bit more fitted on the shoulders, but that's also because I size down. So I knit the size extra, extra small, but usually I always knit my samples in the extra small. So that's super fun. The test knit call will be seven weeks long and the link to apply for it is in my description. And then I also made a little skirt, even though I'm not like really allowed to show you yet. I will not show you the full skirt, but I'm currently testing the Saturday skirt by Caden Naughton, which is super exciting. It's such a beautiful design. It will probably be another week or so before it's released by the time this video comes online or maybe two weeks. I will put the date on the screen, but it's a beautiful skirt and I really recommend. I made it in this, as you can see, like a summery fabric. So this is still probably one of my last summer makes right now, but I think I need to get some gingham fabrics or like a fall floral and make some skirts for fall. And I think that will be really fun. So yeah, I think actually that was all for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed all of the things that I managed to make. We have two finished knitting objects and then also two sewn objects or three actually with the like the Kindle case that I made. So that's really nice, really productive. I did not really read a lot of books. I've been not really wanting to read right now. I think it's because most of my books before this were all three stars and now I don't really feel excited, but we'll see. It can always change, you know? And pretty soon I want to read more fantasy because we're going into fall, but right now it's still pretty warm, so I don't really feel fall vibes yet. 
I really hope that you enjoyed. For now, I wish you all a very happy day, happy knitting and sewing. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye bye.